Before a group of steel workers, elected officials, and friends in the Mon Valley, U.S. Steel announced its latest step in reducing pollution emissions to net zero by 2050. The future of transportation is electric, and today U.S. Steel's future really is on track. The focus on Monday was U.S. Steel's conversion of a diesel locomotive at the Clarendon Coke Works to an electric battery-operated locomotive. Here we're unveiling the first battery-operated powered locomotive that's used in industry as a switcher locomotive that stays here at the plant. Clarendon Coke Works plant manager Mark Jeffrey says the region will benefit because of a significant reduction in local pollution now generated by diesel locomotives. The reduction of 40,000 gallons of diesel fuel consumed by a diesel locomotive. U.S. Steel CEO Dave Burrett did not want to talk on camera, but he credits a public-private collaboration between the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection, U.S. Steel, the United Steelworkers Union, and Innovative Rail Technology, the company that did the conversion. Typically what the rail industry does is rebuild, continue to rebuild their locomotives every 25 years or, or so. You know, traditionally they've just kept the the uh, diesel engine and allowed it to um, just rehabilitated it, but in, instead we put on these battery packs. This, this one is capable of running for three days without recharging. State Senator Jim Brewster says the steel industry needs to speak up louder about its efforts at producing clean green steel. Folks who don't appreciate our industry, don't see progress. And I think we need to talk about that more. This locomotive is at the Clarendon Coke Works, but another one is at the Edgar Thompson Works. Maybe to remind folks of their progress, the newly refurbished locomotive declares zero emissions on the side of its car. So what does zero emissions really mean? Well, U.S. Steel says it's the equivalent of taking 7,000 dirty vehicles off the streets each year here in the Mon Valley. At the Clayton Coat Works, I'm John Delano, KDKA TV News.